Hello students! This is your flipped grammar lesson on compound subjects and predicates. For this lesson, you need your WISC worksheet and a pen or pencil. Fill out your name and the unit of study, compound subjects and predicates. Let's begin! In the last lesson, you learned that a subject tells who or what the sentence is about. The simple subject of a sentence is always a noun. You also learned that the predicate of the sentence tells what the subject does or is. The simple predicate is always a verb. Keep these basic facts in mind as we move on with compound subjects and predicates. Where have you heard the word compound before? Probably you've heard of compound words. In the case of compound words, Two words come together to make a new word. To make a compound subject, you will put together two or more subjects. These subjects will share the same predicate. If two or more subjects are present in a sentence, use a comma between them and the conjunction AND before the final subject. Let's look at an example of a sentence with a compound subject. In the sentence, Sam and Janet went to the store, first we need to ask ourselves who or what is performing the action of the sentence. The action of this sentence is went to the store, so who or what went to the store? Sam and Janet. That means we have two people, and people are nouns, performing the same action or the same predicate. That makes them, Sam and Janet, the compound subject of the sentence. There's another way to illustrate this that we're going to try in class a little bit this year, and that's through something called sentence diagramming. And I drew the diagram for this sentence on the board. Sam and Janet are the subject. All subject words in a sentence diagram go on the left side of the diagram. All the words in the sentence that are related to the predicate go on the right side. So it's a nice way to see the subject, the predicate, separated by a line so that you can see which parts go with which part of the sentence. Now, Sam and Janet, you can see they're connected together here and that they're sharing the predicate went to the store. We know they are a compound subject because they share one predicate. Now you try it. Let's see if you can find the compound subjects in these sentences. Sentence number one. What's the compound subject? Biographies and autobiographies are usually written in chronological order. Biographies and autobiographies is the compound subject of this sentence. In this case, biographies and autobiographies are both nouns and they are sharing the same predicate. Let's try the second one. Wilbur and Orville Wright tested over 200 different wing shapes. What is the compound subject of this sentence? The compound subject is Wilbur and Orville Wright. They share the same predicate. Now let's look at the last one. Drawings, documents, and photographs help us understand historical events of the past. What's the compound subject in this sentence? This sentence has three subjects, drawings, documents, and photographs. You have to have two or more subjects for it to be considered a compound subject. And in this case, since there are three or more, we separated them with commas, and before the final subject, we added the conjunction add, and. Next, let's take a look at compound predicates. To make a compound predicate, you will put together two or more predicates. You can use and or but to connect them. Remember that a simple predicate is a verb. These predicates will share the same subject. If there are three or more predicates, put commas in between them. The conjunction AND or BUT should go before the last one. Next, let's look at an example of a sentence with a compound predicate. In this sentence, Simon loved the book but hated the movie, we need to ask ourselves who or what performed the action. Well, there are two actions in the sentence, and they're both being performed by Simon. So Simon is the subject of the sentence. The simple predicate 
or in this case, simple predicates of the sentence are always verbs. The two verbs in our sentence are loved and hated. On the sentence diagram, we can see in a more illustrative way that those two predicates are being shared by the same subject. Loved is written on the top line, hated on the bottom. Simon performed both of those actions. Since this compound predicate shares the same subject, we know that it is a compound predicate. Now you try it. Can you find the compound predicates in these sentences? Let's look at sentence number one. The Wright brothers designed engines and built gliders in their workshop. What is the compound predicate in this sentence? The compound predicate is designed engines and built gliders in their workshop. This sentence has two simple predicates or verbs which are designed and built. These two predicates share the same subject, so it's a compound predicate. Now, let's look at the second sentence. Orville lost control of the plane and crashed. What is the compound predicate in this sentence? The two predicates in this sentence are lost control of the plane and crashed. This sentence also has two simple predicates or verbs, lost and crashed. So, since both of those verbs share the same subject, it is a compound predicate. Now, let's look at the last sentence. Wilbur Wright accomplished a lot, but died young. What is the compound predicate in this sentence? The compound predicate is accomplished a lot and died young. There are also two verbs in this sentence, accomplished and died. Both of those verbs share the same subject, Wilbur Wright, so, they make a compound predicate. You might be asking yourself, is it possible to have a compound subject and a compound predicate in the same sentence? Yes, it is. In this sentence, Mike and his mom washed and dried the dishes. The sentence has both a compound subject and a compound predicate. Mike and his mom are both performing the same action of the sentence. There are two actions of the sentence, but they are both performing both actions. So, this sentence has a compound subject, Mike and his mom, line to separate them on the diagram, shows our two verbs, washed and dried, our simple predicates, make a compound predicate, both are sharing the same subject, same predicate. Although we'll only be doing some basic sentence diagramming this year, I wanted to show you those more complex sentence diagrams for two reasons. First, you will learn sentence diagramming in junior high. And second, these sentence diagrams illustrated how the subjects share the predicates and how the predicates share the subjects. The sentence diagram is just a way to visualize how the various parts of a sentence work together. And that concludes today's lesson. Please make sure you finish filling out your WISC worksheet. In the S section, write a five sentence summary of what you learned from this video. Feel free to go back and re-watch the whole thing or parts if you need to. Then, in the Q section, please write a question you might have about something you still don't understand from the video about compound subjects and compound predicates. If you have no questions, please create a test question for your classmates. Remember to complete this activity on time and turn it in by the due date. Good luck and see you next time!